First and foremost, I, I really want to say uh, something about this post. This is not medical advice, uh, and you need to, of course, review your medical issues with your physician. But uh, something that I noticed over the last uh, few days, especially more so than in the relatively recent past, uh, I've seen a number of second opinions regarding findings on uh, their MRI and whether or not the surgery was indicated. Um, you have to realize that there are a number of normal changes that occur in our shoulder, our back, our neck, and our knee with aging. And that sometimes finding a cartilage tear in a knee, a rotator cuff tear in a shoulder, or a disc herniation in the back is not necessarily a problem, and we'll put problem in quotation marks. You need to put the findings of the MRI in the context of your complaints. If your complaints match that of your physical examination by your physician, uh, and that matches your history or the story that you give to your physician, and an MRI confirms your physician's suspicion, then perhaps treatment or surgery is necessary. However, if you just injured your knee today leaning over and uh, knocking it against something, and for some reason you're indicated for an MRI, uh, which is perhaps a bit too soon, and the MRI shows a meniscus tear, uh, and then perhaps that meniscus tear is not the source of your pain and your pain might just go away if you give it enough time. Keep in mind that there are a lot of um, normal changes that occur in our tissues. Uh, some, some people it's going to occur in their 30s and 40s, some people it's going to occur in their 60s or 70s. A lot of these changes are not necessarily pathological. They don't all require surgery. It's important for you to keep that in mind. It's important for you to discuss this with your physician uh, and have all your questions addressed to your satisfaction and to, if all else fails, to seek a second opinion. Uh, that's the message for today. Take care. Bye.